Hey, uh, Master Dungeon? A uh, butts! Uh, yeah, I was wondering if you could tell me about... Oh, so you want to learn about this? No, more of a focus of... Oh, you want to know how each class uses their magic! Exactly! Oh, I can't believe I didn't pick up on that sooner. Okay, to start off, we need to explain how magic was created. Okay, well, how was it created? By a dragonborn going through puberty, did you know they let off a magical scent when they go through this stage in life? Next week? Next week. Right, right, right. Well, to start off, magic is just magic, but it can be channeled by two different kinds of casting, arcane and divine. Let's focus on the casters who use arcane. My arcane is focused. Wizards channel their magic by learning the exact words and movement for their spells. <gasps> just like in Harry Potter! Exactly! And sorcerers channel their natural magic to cast spells, while warlocks are granted magic through their patron. <gasps> just like in Harry Potter! <laughs> no, think more like Lord of the Rings. No! Okay, and then there's the bard who creates exact frequencies to create magic. Wait, so you're saying a bard could insult someone and actually do damage if they hit the right frequency? You know it. Oh, <laughs> you saw. Your mom never loved you. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, 911? Yeah, my family just fell over and died. Well, that's it for the arcane casters, so let's move over to the divine. You're divine. Oh, stop it. Okay. Oh, oh okay. Well, druids channel their magic by manipulating nature. So their power comes from the grass? Yep. And those rocks? You know it. Even the trees? Even the trees. <laughs> so they get their power from hugging trees? <laughs> <laughs> and the ranger is just like the druid. Ooh! But he doesn't hug trees. Ah. Yeah, he's nothing special. Oh, and clerics can receive magic through the gods they serve, and paladins can conjure up magic by just having enough conviction to their oath. Does the oath have to be specific? Nope. Oh, so you're saying someone can take an oath that focuses on throwing it back for the real one, and they will receive power through that? 100%. So let's say being a wizard doesn't work out. So my next step would be worshiping a thick peach of a butt. And I don't know why people don't do that more, but there you go. That's how each spellcaster channels their magic. Wow, thank you. I now know how every class channels their magic. How could I ever repay you? By worshiping my thick peach of a butt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I already do that, you're my DM. Actually, I have been practicing some real life wizarding magic. Do you mind if I show you a spell I learned? Sure, as long as you don't make me eat slugs. <laughs> uh, I can never Sant Adbarian here, here to let you know about the latest collaboration between Wormwood and Dispel, introducing the Elemental Collection. The campaign features six primary natural elements of water, fire, foliage, geode, space, and lightning. And they will offer two dice colorways and two dice vaults to choose from per element. <laughs> the double casting method for the iconic dice gives a deeper level of depth for designs. The traditional sharp edge iridescent dice finished coat almost looks flame touched. What, really? Ah! Ebony dice vaults provide excellent backdrops for custom designs. And dice cherry vaults make for a phenomenal canvas for engravings with custom illustrations representing each element. And their Kickstarter campaign is live right now and only open for just 12 days. So click on the link in the description or pin comment and grab this limited run before it's gone. And let them know Sant and Barry and sent ya. Hello? Oh crap, thank you Warburg for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Oh, that's right, I'm a barbarian, I don't have any magic. What the? Oh! Oh! What are you oh, doing? Oh, Get out of my house! house.